Welcome back to Jay LaRon Presents, where we talk about facts, foolishness, and sometimes a little black female fuckery. Today's video, we have a woman who gets pulled over by the cops for running a stop sign. Um, apparently, she loses her temper, um, loses her wig, and just act, acts a complete fool. Simple traffic stop. But as we always know, and we see a lot of times, these black women, man, they is is it's something in them that when they get pulled over, they have to act a fool. Instead of just taking the ticket, if you're going to fight it, just go to court, right? But no, these y'all, for some reason, want to hold court on the side of the road. And <laughs> a lot of times, man, these cops are not going to put up with it, right? So let's go ahead and get into this video, man. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I think this video has some backlash. People are thinking that maybe the cops were too aggressive with this woman, but leave your comments down below once you watch the video and let me know what you think. All right. Fair use, fair use. Um, y'all got you guys go ahead, hit the like button, su subscribe, and share. All right, that helps the channel grow. Man, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. According to police, on August 5th, 2024, Monday morning at roughly 3 35 a.m in the area of Abbott Street and Manford Street. A Fort Wayne Police Department officer observed a vehicle ran a stop sign while driving at a high rate of speed. The driver later identified as Tihana Smith, 29 years of age, had an arrest warrant, refused to identify, and was non-compliant with the officer's directives. Hi there. Hi. You know I stopped you? No. When you turned on to Alexander from McKee, you went right through the stop sign. I didn't. Of course that one was up for me. All right, wait a minute now. So the cops saw her blow straight through a stop sign, right? That's why she's getting pulled over because she blew through a stop sign. She didn't stop. First thing come out of her mouth is, I didn't. I mean, <laughs> y'all gotta be, but this is what this is what happens. I mean, you see a lot of this. You see a lot of black women do this. You know, cop pull them over, say the cop would tell them what they did. First thing come out of their mouth, I didn't already already starting to you know be a little combative all right let's keep it moving from it good i did it you got your driver's license i'm clear you start one for 85 please do you have your id ma'am i don't I you don't left from my friend house i don't my purse is there What's that? I said I don't. My purse is at my friend's house. Okay. All right. So you don't have any ID on you whatsoever? No, but I didn't run to no stop sign. So yeah. yeah, you did. I didn't. Okay. Okay. Again, okay, let's let's stop this. So she is, what did you say, two something in the morning, three in the morning? You just left your friend's house driving, but you left your ID at your friend's house. You left the driver's license at your friend's house. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Why would you? Why are you leaving your friend's house at that at time in the morning, and you leave your, your your driver's license over there? What 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 it boils down to? What I've seen a lot in, in these videos, a lot of these women, man, y'all don't have 
you don't have IDs, you don't have driver's license, or they expired or or something. And it's just like with your insurance. Y'all drive around with with no insurance, expired insurance, expired registrations. I mean, it, it's crazy. But like I said, y'all talk about y'all the most educated. You would think an educated woman would keep, you know, her license on her. You know, would keep a up to date registration and an up to date insurance card. You know, or something like that. But like I said again, I mean, three in the morning, two something in the morning, you out driving around with no no ID because you left it at your friend's house. Okay. All right. What's your name? What's your name, ma'am? Hello. Well, why is she ignoring him? Y'all see this shit? What's your name? So not only are you out here with no ID, no driver's license, now when a cop asks you who you are, you want to just hop on the phone. Now you ignore them. No, you ignore the cop and you, and you get on your phone. God damn it. Rude. Y'all, I mean, just rude. That's all I got to say, just rude. And then you wonder why shit go left. Just tell the cop who you Hey, are. I'm talking to you. I hear you. Okay, you have to identify yourself. One second. No, this is not how that works. No, because you just pulled me over when I literally just parked. Okay. And I'm all pulling right. up to pick up my friend. Okay. I'm confused on why I even got It's very simple. He pulled her over when she literally just parked. You parked because he pulled you over. What, I mean, what do y'all be, what do they be thinking about? What do these women be thinking about? They just be talking. Well, you just ran a stop sign, I okay? Did, though. Yeah, you did. Okay. I just need I need now I need your name. Now now she wants to argue with the cop about the stop sign. If you felt you if you felt like you didn't run it, just go ahead and get the ticket and go fight it in court. I'm telling you, man, y'all you cannot hold court on the side of the road. These cops ain't go, you know what I'm saying? You, they're not gonna do they're not gonna be equipped to do that. They're just gonna give you a ticket based off what they saw you do. Ma'am, turn the car off, please. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> one. what was the female's name again? She's not complying. Step up. That's not how this works. Step out of the car. Oh, you just pulled me over. Step out of the car. Reason. Step out of the car. No. Yes. Listen, this is going to go a couple ways, okay? You can either listen, we can do this easy, or you... Right, but, okay, so okay. let me see me running the stop sign. You got your cam on, right? We, we have cameras, yes. Okay, so let me see it. No, I'm not okay. showing you the well, camera. I'm about Step... to call my lawyer, no. and you can back the fuck up. Because step I out of the car. No step out of the car, no. or I'm going to make you step out of the car, okay? We need you to get step out of the car. And who is the... Who are they to demand? They always demanding shit. Every time I see one of these, man, these women are demanding that these cops do stuff like let me see let me see your let me see the let me see the uh, recording like he just gonna be able to pop out the recording right then and there and show it to you right now we all know that whenever um they they do these they have to download the video they have to do all that they can't just show you right on the spot you know what I'm saying to see this is the bullshit that they and they do this to try to waste time they do it to try to um to get the cops to do something stupid. That's why they start all these arguments. They start all these arguments so the cops can do something stupid. And then she can say, uh-huh, this is what he did. I, I can get off or I can try to sue and shit like that. But um, but yeah, but like, I got something for her. Shut up, bitch. What? All right, let's keep it moving. We can have a conversation. Get, no, 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 it's, that's, that's not how this works. No, no, that's what not how this step works. No, no, that's not how this Step out of the car. That is how it works no, because it's not. I didn't do anything and you're no. going to. If I have to put hands on you and you resist, you're going to get another charge, okay? So we just need you to step out. So step we out of the car, out. please. We force you to come out. Do it. Step out of the car. Do it. Damn. Step out of the car. Okay. Step out. Look. <laughs> just listen to shit. Do it. Like, I'll tell you, man, a lot of these black women think they're just Billy badasses. Do it. I mean, really? She now she'll dare the cop to do it. And then when he does it, she gets upset. You go dare the cop to, to take you out, to pull you out of the car, and then you go get upset when he does it. Out of the car. Don't you fucking kick me! Bitch! Don't fucking kick me! Put your hands in your ass! Damn, and then you all know, see a wig came off. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull it back. A wig came off. Oh my god, a wig popped off, man. Did some shit. Let's go. Don't you fucking kick me, 
up, bitch! Don't fucking kick me! Right. <laughs> it's amazing when they wig come off. You know what I'm saying? You see what, what they really look like. <laughs> they look one way with the wig on, and then they look totally different. It looked totally different when that wig come off. Well, I tell you. But she brought that on herself, right? She brought that on herself because she's sitting up there talking shit. Talking shit for no fucking reason. Just. <sighs> Ball head, steady way. Ain't got no hair in bag. Jail up, beat up. Your hair is messed up. I mean. <laughs> Straight chicken head. I mean, come on now. Yeah, I mean, but this, this, this is what happens when you talk shit. You, you, you dared the cop to pull you out. Now he pulled you out. And then your weave popped off and everything. Put your hands behind your hands. Put your hands behind your back. Give me your fucking hands. Give me your fucking hands. Starts at 15. Give me your hands. I'm gonna spray real quick. Give me your hands. You're gonna get pepper spray. Give me your hands. Uh huh. I can't help Give me your hands. You got my hands. You got my hands. Give me your hands. You got my hands. You are not listening. You Give me your hands. hands. Put them behind your back. How would you get them? Put them behind, behind your back. I can't. Hey, if they got them. They got your hands. Give your hands up. Stop. You're so bitch. Everything's recorded, you dumb fuck. And you just punched me in my face. Yeah, you kicked me. Bitch, because you hit me. And you pulled my fucking wig off. Stay back. I don't have this one on. Now, I know some of y'all might ask why did he call her the B word. Now, you might can make a, you know, say that he shouldn't have said that. But then again, I mean, she's she's too she's too aggressive, right? Like I said, the, the B word might have been too much. But then again, like I said, we're only human. We're only human, right? You know, motherfucker piss you off. You got to wrestle with them to get them out of the car after they te- after they dare you to take them out of the car. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, yeah. But I know cops supposed to be professional. Like I said, you can say he was wrong for saying the B word. Like I said, don't condone it, but I do understand why he said it. All right, let's keep it moving. I know it ain't like two of y'all, bro. I know it ain't take two of y'all, bro. Stop. No, stop. Make my eyes. And of course, you got the simps, right? You got the dude in the background. The dude in the background talking about, no, nah, man, it take two of y'all. It take two of y'all, man. I mean, bro, just, just let it go. Just let just let the cops do what they're doing. They they <laughs> they are <laughs> they are arresting her for a reason, right? But like I said, you always got the simps. They always come to the aid of, you know, leave her alone. Why I got to take two of y'all? Why, why why, won't they ever tell her to calm the fuck down? Why don't they ever tell the women to calm down? Hey, chill out. What's your name, bro? Hey, chill out, bro. Stay back. Chill out, bro. Hey, bro, do your regular work. Hey, bro, do your regular work. Hey, bro, do your regular work. Stop. It's over. It's over. No, it's over, bro. You're done. Grab that arm. You're done. You're done. You're done. Stand up. You're done. You're done. You got one in custody? Little bit, y'all know I'm fucking one of y'all cops, bitch. You done. <laughs> and then she thought it was nice to tell them that she's sleeping, she's effing one of the cops. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, these, I don't know how many times I hear this on these on these dash cams. They either they either know a cop, they sleeping with a cop. You know, they got a they got a lawyer, you know what I'm saying? It'd be three, four in the morning. Oh, I'm gonna call my lawyer. You know, they got a lawyer, they got a cop friend that they screwing. You know, they always it's it's always something. It's always they, they say the most craziest things, man. It don't make any sense. So you out here at three in the morning and you got a so you got a car, so you got a you fucking a cop. So you go call him. I think she said she got a lawyer too. <laughs> Should have listened. Yeah, you could. You should have just listened. All right, it's over. It's over. Get my phone. Come on, here. Get my phone. 
sit in the car. Sit in the car. Sit down. So this is gonna go a couple ways, okay? You can either listen, we can do this easy, or you Right, but okay, so let me see me running the stop sign. You got your camera, right? We have cameras. Okay, now they go back to the okay, this is the, the second cop by the can. Now look, like I said, with the with the weed with the weave on, she looked half ass decent, but god damn it. When that wig came off, woo wee. Okay, so let me see it. No, I'm not okay, saying it. Well, I'm about to call my lawyer and you can back the phone yeah, yeah. because yeah. I have Yeah, there you go. There it goes. You hear her? She said she's about to call her lawyer now. It's like damn to three in the morning. But she got a lawyer on retainer. But, okay, so let me see me running the stop sign. You got your camera, right? We have cameras. Right? Okay, so let me see it. No, I'm not okay. showing you the camera. Well, I'm about to call my lawyer no. and you can back the fuck no. up because step I'm not running no fucking light. Step out of the car. No, or We're I'm going to make you step out of the car, okay? We need you to get step out of the car. We can have a conversation in the back. Get, no, no, no. It's not it's, how it's how this works. It's, no, no. That's what? not how this step works. No, you need to come out of the car. Works, no, it's not. I didn't do anything, and you're no. going to your. If I have to put hands on you and you resist, you're going to get another charge. Okay. So we just need you to step out. Now he's telling her, if he has to put his hands on her because she resisted, she's going to get hit with another charge. But they don't listen. They do not listen. So we step don't have car, to force you to come out. Do it. Step out of the car. Do it. Step out of the car. Okay. Step out of the car. Don't you fucking kick me. And y'all saw she tried to kick him. Let me bring it back. So y'all saw she tried to kick him when, when they pulled her out. Okay. Step out of the car. There you go. Don't you fucking kick me! Bitch! Don't fucking kick me! Put your hands behind your hands! And you can see that's that's why he called her the B-word. She tried to kick him. Like I said, I know cops are supposed to be professional, but in certain situations, you know, just, I mean, what was the point in trying to kick him? You dared the man to pull you out of the car. You told him to do it. So when he did it, your your thought was to kick him. Your hands behind your back. Give me your fucking hands. Give me your fucking hands. There's a 15. Give me your hands. Give me, spray real quick. Give me your hands. You're getting pepper spray. Give me your hands. Uh huh. I can't help Give me your hands. hands. You got my hands. You got my hands. Give me your hands. You got my hands. You are not listening. And you Give got hands. my hands. Put them behind your back. How? If you got I can't. I, I got this one. They got some hands. Get your hands up. Stop. You're so bitch. Everything's recorded, you dumb fuck. And you just punched me in my face. Yeah, you kicked me. Bitch, because you hit me. And you put my fucking wig off. It ain't tight. Stay back. I don't have this one. I I know it ain't take four of y'all, bro. I know it ain't take four of y'all, bro. Stop. No. Stop. 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 Hey, chill out with your knee, bro. Hey, chill out, bro. Stay back. Chill out, bro. Hey, bro, do your, do your regular training, nigga. Okay. Do your regular fucking training. It's over. It's over. No, it is over, bro. It is over. He, you hear them do your regular fucking training. Like they know what the cops regular training is, you know? You're done. Y'all some hoes. You're done. Y'all some hoes, bro. Fuck y'all some hoes, bro. So these cops are hoes because they had to pull her combative ass out of the car because she didn't want to get out. They they some hoes, but they didn't say nothing to her for how she acted. I guess she didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Literally, y'all know I'm fucking one of y'all cops, bitch. You done. <laughs> done. Should have listened. Yeah, you could. You should have just listened. All right, light over. It's over. Get my phone! Get my phone! Sit in the car. Sit in the car. Sit down. 
Diana Smith refused to exit the vehicle, and after numerous attempts to get her to exit voluntarily, officers had to forcefully remove her. She physically resisted, causing the officers to use force to gain compliance, police said. The FWPD is aware of a video circulating social media regarding the arrest Smith. Smith preliminary charges are arrest warrant for driving while suspended, driving while suspended, prior misdemeanor, refusal to identify self, misdemeanor, resisting law enforcement, physical level six, felony, battery to public official causing bodily injury. Okay, so she's driving with the, did they say expired license? After she told them that her license were at her friend's house. Okay, let's, let's go back. resisted, causing the officers to use force to gain compliance, police said. The FWPD is aware of a video circulating social media regarding the arrest Smith. Smith preliminary charges are arrest warrant for driving while suspended, driving while suspended. So she's got an arrest. She, so she's got a warrant out for her arrest for driving with a suspended license. <laughs> oh, shit. So she has a suspended license. But she failed to tell the cops that she said her license was in a friend's house. That's like I said, they y'all, these black women driving around here with no license. Y'all supposed to be, like I say, the most educated, the most responsible, and all that. But y'all out here with expended driver's license, either no insurance or you don't even have a, a, a current registration. Right? And for one, like I said, if you got a suspended license, you ain't gonna be able to register, get your car registered. <laughs> oh no, that's crazy, man. But y'all motherfuckers gotta y'all gotta I see too much of this. I see too much of this, man, where women get pulled over by the police and they start acting a fool when all it all it is if she felt like that she didn't run the, the stop sign. Um hold on, let me go back here. I think they did something to the police officer. But yeah, so like I said, if you feel like you did not run the stop sign, just get the ticket and take it to court. Physical level six, felony. Battery to public official causing bodily injury level six, felony. This incident remains. Oh, so that's what she did. Okay, while suspended, on. prior misdemeanor, refusal to identify self, misdemeanor, resisting law enforcement, physical level six, felony. Battery to public official causing bodily injury level six, felony. This incident remains under investigation by the Fort Wayne Police Department and the Allen County Prosecutor's Office. Thank you for watching Video League Police. Please yeah. subscribe. So, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, you guys, drop the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think the cops used too much excessive force? Was that excessive, you know what I'm saying, to get her out of the car? Even though they told her, if we have to take you out, you're going to get another charge. And she said, do it. Right? The cop was trying to talk to her. She got on the phone, was ignoring him. You know what I'm saying? It's just the level of disrespect. Like I said, if you felt like you did not run, the, all it was was, was, a, was a, they said she ran a stop sign. Just take the damn ticket, right? Take the ticket. But like I said, she's also she's riding around on a suspended license. So why are you driving around on a suspended license in the first place? Why was the license suspended? <laughs> that you know what I'm saying? It's like y'all do shit to yourselves. And then the fact that she knew she had a suspended license. Why are you talking shit? Why are you talking shit? Why don't you just chop that shit up? You know what I'm saying? Just, hey, they pulled you over front of the stop sign. It's 2, 3 in the fucking morning. <clears throat> just take the ticket. You know, take the ticket. I mean, if they run, if they do find out that your license is suspended or whatever, you still probably will get a ticket for that. They're probably going to take you in and tow the car because you ain't supposed to be driving with a suspended license. Take the ticket. And then just, just I mean, the, the stop sign, you could probably fight it in court. And then you could do what you got to do to, to, you know, get your get your license re re reinstated. I mean, you know, it, it's it's crazy. But like I said, I see a lot of black women out here rolling around with no license, no registration, no car insurance. And then when they get pulled over, they act surprised. And then they want to act a fool. And then a simple ticket can, will wind up in an arrest.
It shit don't make no sense. If if the cops are so bad, if y'all are so afraid, let me ask you this: If y'all are so afraid of the cops, why do y'all be so combative when the cop pull you over? That 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 doesn't make any sense to me. If you are that afraid of the police officer, if cops are so bad that you fear for your life, why are you so combative? You know, y'all y'all gotta explain that to me. It don't make any sense. You know, it's like y'all, y'all figure, well, shit, if I won't go out, I'm going in a blaze of glory. <laughs> if these cops gonna take me out, I'm gonna go out in a blaze of glory. But you don't know what type of cop pulling you over. You don't know, you don't know his temperament. You know what I'm saying? If you just be cooperative, be respectful for one thing. I mean, just be respectful. That's, I find that's that's hard for a lot of black women to do is be respectful. You know, it's like they know they got something wrong. They either got a suspended license, no license, or no insurance, or registration is out, and yet they talk shit, knowing that they're in the wrong. If you're in the wrong, shut up. <laughs> it don't make any sense. If you know you're in the wrong, shut the F up. If you know you got a suspended license, shut the F up. Just take the ticket. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you are in the wrong regardless. So take the ticket. She was in the wrong because she had a suspended license. Take the ticket. Take whatever comes with it. You know, if if you did not run that stop sign, fight it in court. That's it. But you guys, like I said, drop some comments down below. I think a lot of people got heated on this video because the cop called her the B word. Like I said, cops do have a level of um, integrity, you know, and, 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 you know, they do need to be a little bit more level headed and stuff like that. But then again, when he pulled out of the car, she did kick him. So, like I said, I understand why he called her the B word. But then again, like I said, you do have to, you know, be level headed as a police officer because, you know, you you work for the, you know, you work for the police officer. I mean, you work for the, the city. You know what I'm saying? You're a city official. So, yeah, just, you guys, like I said, drop the comments down below. Let me know what you think. It's your boy, Jay LaRoe with Jay LaRoe Presents. You guys, please be good to yourselves. By all means, let's be good to one another. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.